as we have, yeah. one, as you would expect, Jam vs. Zelia, Falco vs. Ike. Yeah, and, it, uh, yeah I that's just, a count. <laughs> this Jam, I don't... This is not a good matchup, but Jam continues to believe in it. it it's an interesting one, because obviously Ike does have all these disjoints with the very large aerials, which should, in all honesty, be able to, in, in, in um, theory, keep out Falco the whole time. Yeah, the problem but... is they're just so damn slow, and Falco is so damn fast. Like, you can just dance on your shield, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, what, what are you going to do? Try and do not be? He'll just run away immediately. Yep, and as soon as he gets one hit, Converts it into, eh, to be fair, not that much, but yeah. still a decent amount of pressure put on. Yeah, and the main thing is just, obviously, Jam's just at the moment just trying to hold that center stage. Just, I'm here, you're getting nowhere near the sides. I'm not letting you near those platforms, you were in the middle of the stage. I don't know, I was having a hard time getting his way back in, but just managed to just hold his face into the Ike shield and just runs through. So, and again, once as soon as he gets center, he gets a grab, he gets a combo, gets an up tilt, not quite enough to kill yet, but. Oh, the side be just flying That's across him. Okay, let's calm down, Azalea. <laughs> I'm going to give him both of you out and say that was a miss input. But Maybe, but it, it could also just be a hard read. Um, that up smash, though, is... Um no, mm, yeah, that's that's the best way I could put that up smash. Um, so I will remind everybody at home of the GP drinking game. <laughs> okay, just speak of GP, just run some dash attacks. Got to get oh. some classics in here. You get the yeah. Well, that dash attack is dis is decept is very very strong, yes. and it's quick. It's deceptively quick for what it is. Yes, it has a decent burst range to it as well, so you can just catch people napping. But the yeah. frame data on it is just not good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, funny thing about Falco Up Smash, better hitbox behind it than in front of it. I'm not kidding. I can believe that. There's some jank up smashes in this game. Yeah. So, but this is, yeah. This That's is, this why is he crowded. wanted up tilt, though, is that because you can just get the back air off and consistently. And That was just a good scoop. Yeah. I think that one was intentional. Very but. good little just bing there. But yeah, this is this is where Falco shines. He's at the side of the stage. He's got the platform behind him. He's able to keep on doing oh these platform combos. The down airs, the neutral airs. It, it's, it's just the Falco time. This man is in a blender. Somebody let him out. He's been pureed already. The Aoife coming out once again, but... Ooh. Oh, tried to go for it. For it yeah. He just catches Alia with that lazy side B, but just doing the jump beforehand. It's one of those ones where it's technically not safe, but, like, you have so many options as Falco that your recovery is just actually really good overall. Yeah, you could just... It's, it's a lot of mix-ups yeah. that could be done. And if you punish them radly, you can't just die to getting spiked by side B. So you need to be a little bit careful. Speaking of which, is Zayla going to go for it? And gets the sour spot on the spike. Yeah, that's chase off stage. That's, that's an air, and that's a kill. And Zayla take yeah. it a two stock advantage. Just immediately taking that one out. Yeah, if, if Jam was sent a little bit higher angle, he could probably charge the side B and get back. But because of the angle, he had to go for just a drift in to then up B. And mm. yeah, it's you just throw out a massive hitbox and just say no. <laughs> and at that point, it's just so easy for Zelda to just wait on stage. Even like even if he doesn't think he can get that chase down, just wait on stage and just set up for the, the second down there. It'll either spike some kills or resets. And that's all you need to at that point. Smash Wheel is going to be the stage pick for Jam. Yeah. This is a, base, a best of five game. So. Yes, well, this is winner's finals. So obviously, the winner of this will go to Grands. Loser of this will, will be sent and banished to the loser's bracket to make a redemption run. But I have to see which one of these will do it. Obviously, Azalea has the advantage for now, but I like, maybe Jam can get in this. As much as Jam probably wants to try and make this a brawl game, I'm not massively convinced by Smashville here in that... Azalea is just very good at getting grabs, getting up tilts, just forcing his way into combo openings like that, where he just runs up, throws an aerial, hits the up tilt anyway as the follow-up, and then just gets 60 off of it. Sorry, 80 off 80. of it. Yeah, that, that's the Falco special. I think that the Smashville pick is mainly just to stop there being platforms at the sides, because Falco loves platforms at the side. He, he wants them there, because then he can extend even further and then go into more um, optimal kills. While with the platform in the middle, he has to go for... He has to just make sure he's in the middle. He'll be able to get the damage, but then it's harder to kill. Yes. Also, since I was interrupted last time, the GP drinking game. Every time Jam does an Aether ledge, take a drink! And that's one! <laughs> <laughs> that's not that ledge. That was from the recovery, and... Take a drink anyway, because that was good. That was... <laughs> yes. Take a drink to mentally recover from what just happened, but... Azalea's going to quickly recover the favor, just gets it down there, gets that back air out, and will clean up the stock. Jumping for the jab. It's interesting that the jab is coming out. It must be trying to read like an immediate... Um, it's just an immediate follow dodge, button. Yeah, an air dodge back down. Yeah. You can just put hitboxes in that space and cover it, and a couple of air dodge angles that go back. Mm. 
but obviously he's only not falling for that one and will maintain this advantage. Oh. Uh, oh, Jam's getting a little hasty on that air dodge and so he picks it up and once he has oh, that top down platform, is does well try to go is. for the forward smash, tried to do a cheeky little kill there, but nothing coming out of it. And again, yeah. as soon as he finds one window, up tilt, back air, boom, there goes your stock. Yep, it's just that simple. Falco has so many ways of just mixing you up consistently. Just like, which which option am I going to choose? Am I going to do a throw? Am I going to do up tilt on your shield? Which one are you going to choose? Now, okay, you lost the 50-50, you take 60. Or you're dead, either one. Take your pick. <laughs> Trying to pressure with that Aether, but Zelda just falls out the other side because Aether is a well-programmed move. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like Smash Brothers. And there's that dash attack once again, that burst option coming out. And only 49% being racked up here. It's not much extra credit. It's definitely winnable though for Jam. But a bit poked off stage with the laser, gets caught. He's got all his jump. Okay, does just about land that time. And we'll at least have his resources back for the second offstage interaction. The cold of the jump. Zelda doesn't punish it. Oof. Gets caught trying to... Again! Before there. More Aethers! <laughs> it's the GP drinking game. Take a drink. <laughs> we need more! The sour spot coming out there. Down the Down on stage! And into uh, the back air! Very nicely done. Just catching him out. Understanding that Jam just would immediately just slam a button. One button. And then just thought that was going to be an attack button. And then, whoop, dead. Yeah. That's what Azalea does so well. It's just converting off of these small windows. As soon as you let your guard down for one second, you have to. <laughs> you are going to get hit with an up tilt or a down uh, or a down tilt, because that's also a, a kill sub Azalea has. Yeah, you, you get kicked dumb. in the face, and you're going off the side of the stage. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's just mm -hmm. Falco is. He's a very. Inter I do actually like watching Falco because his combos always seem smooth. Yes, much smoother than most other combo characters in the game. Because um, let's compare it to like Kazuya. His, his combos, you, you see them, they're there, they happen, but they don't feel smooth. They feel meaty, and I don't like meaty <laughs> combos. I like meaty one hits. That's respectable. Yeah. Got to have a smooth combo. Well, there's a good chance we're going to get some smooth combos and meaty hits here, but Jam has a lot of work to do, and he doesn't get that tech, so he's just going to get pummeled in terms of damage. We'll just make it to the ledge, though, to stop the onslaught. But Azalea with that early lead. Well, that lead is gone immediately, and Jam is now using that pressure from the middle of the plat, middle of the stage to do. Ooh. Oh, I feel like as Azalea was a bit more patient. He could have potentially got the side B off stage, but chooses to just let it rip early. Just make sure yeah. he gets back ahead of time. Doesn't get the up smash. No, close, but no cigar there. Foot the footstool. Stool. I was going to say something fancy was coming there. Let him cook Sakurai. I need to know what he's trying to cook. Oh, oh, okay, let's calm down a little bit, Jam. <laughs> Jam going for some sauce there, trying to put it on the toast. Unfortunately, there's not enough water in a pan. There's, the pot has been scorched, and Jam will find himself a stock down. For now, everyone's just falling out at everything. Nothing's connecting properly. That's All we need is one big meaty hit, and the Sailor's just about to survive this one. Oh, oh to avoid tea it. bag, Jam. <laughs> he needs to get his opponent's his head. Face. In a situation like this, trying to just put off your opponent is an excellent strategy. <laughs> Keeping that calm composure and just trying to see if you can make the composure crack on the opponent instead. Unfortunately, there's a true combo in fighting games. It's taught to get bodied, <laughs> and he's just going to survive. No, he's not. It There's is. the return. <laughs> Unbelievable. But now we're just going to see, once again, this combo starting up. Th this is just going on. They're never ending. The platform extension coming out. <sighs> 74. Uh, uh, 81. Uh, no, 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 hold no, on. No, don't. Joey's for a reflect. It doesn't quite find it, but that would have been lethal if it landed. Yeah, that EFO is just. <gasps> oh, and it it scoops it. into no. the first just Ike's not surviving. Eat, Ike eats his veggies, but he doesn't eat that many veggies, and he's dead. He does not eat enough vegetables to survive two upward smashing attacks. Azalea just spaces the up smash perfectly. Will take that. 3-0 dominant performance from him. Yeah, very well done. And, and it's now, like I was saying, taunt to get bodied. Yeah, well, Truest right combo yeah. in fighting game history. Well, now we'll have to see who we actually see in next, because I believe that um, Imzo vs. Contact is currently playing. And I think they're still in the midst of a, um, a barnstorm of a set, from what I can see. And All you the, could see is the back of Imzo's neck. And then the other one at the moment, which is actually going to come on stream, is Jamubi versus Joel. So, yeah. Uh, a tea time classic. Yeah. So I 
I don't know what my record against Jamubi is. I think it's good. I played him today. 